In terms of um, the discussion I'm going to have today, is a, a, it's a title of Time for Change. And I think often in Ireland with the economic scenario that we're dealing with and with the political um, environment that's, that's, um, that's playing out at the moment, the time for change, we're almost change exhausted because there has been so much change and that change continues to come at us in, in waves that I, I think we often lose sight of the fact that there is a much bigger change taking place in the broader world. And what I maybe want to spend some time talking about this morning is um, that change, the broader change that's going on in the world, and, and it really is quite extraordinary. Um, most of the people who are here today are part of what I would call the conventional economy. So you're not a Google or a Twitter or a Facebook. Um, and we have some unique challenges, and I count ourselves in this um, context. We have some unique challenges to survive and thrive in that um, in, the, in the new challenging environment that we live in. Um, and I'm going to put forward what some of those challenges are. We've actually built organizations that prevent us changing in the way we need to change. And then rather than leave you with all the problems, I just have a few suggestions as to how you might, um, how you might move, move forward from where you are today. So first up, that is a picture of um, my house on Christmas morning. So I'm sure you'll all be really impressed to know that um, at about a quarter past nine on, um, on Christmas morning. Um, we had already been up for three and a half hours at this point. Um, that I was thinking of this presentation. <laughs> my wife wasn't too happy with that fact. but So, so th these are my two girls. Um, to the front is um, Megan, who's 11, and to the back is, is Amy, who's um, seven. Well, she'll be seven in a week's time. They just opened their presents. Um, and they grabbed my wife's iPhone, um, which is something that's very rarely far from her side. And we said, what are you doing? They said, we're calling um, our cousins, because they'd been with their cousins the previous um, evening, and they had arranged they were going to call them. Um, so they took it out, and all of a sudden, they're talking on a video to their cousins. Right? They're using Apple FaceTime. Why wouldn't they? It's there. They're there talking to their cousins, and they spend the next 20 minutes wandering around the living room going, look at this, wow, look at that, look what did you get? And they had that experience of sharing their presence, right? Now, you have no idea how utterly terrifying that is for a telecommunications company. Because what, oh, excuse me, what they did there cost us nothing. It was free. Now, my children are not particularly frugal. So they did not make the decision to make the call in this way based on how much it was going to cost us, right? They did it because it was better. They could see each other. They could talk in a group. They could look at the gifts. They, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but you can flip the camera from the front to the back so you can show them the room and you can then flip it back to your, um, to your, to your face again. Incredible technology, but it's free, free of charge. What this company made its money from 15 years ago was being done for free, and it was a decision not based on cost, it was a decision based on a better service and a different understanding of value. The call dropped twice in the 20 minutes, and they just reestablished it. So for them, the value wasn't in a continuity of service. The value for them was in a video experience. So this is just to give you a glimpse of the kind of changing environment that we're in.